Hello, everybody. There's been some extraordinary news that has gone ahead and happened tonight. The Islamic Republic of Iran has launched retaliatory airstrikes on Israel. As we speak, literally right now, Shahid style drones, hundreds are raining down upon Israel, being intercepted, at least some by air raids. Uh, there has been sirens all across. Air defense systems are firing. We have some video that I'm going to go ahead and play for everybody right now, and I'll continue to talk over it. So what you guys can see in front of you. This is video that has been put out by the Israeli media and as well as the Israeli government. So we feel comfortable sharing it with you. At the very least, what we could say is they claim that this is what is happening above their skies. This has now come this extraordinary moment after a dizzying last few hours. Some indications happened earlier today. President Biden was at his vacation house in Rehoboth Beach in Delaware. He flew back for an emergency meeting of his National Security Council. Almost immediately, after he returned to the White House, the news became official and they put out a statement. I'm going to go ahead and share that statement with all of you right now. Here's what we had, and this was given to us a few hours ago from the White House. They say Iran has begun an airborne attack against Israel. President Biden is being regularly updated on the situation. Here's the key line. President Biden has been clear. Our support for Israel's security is ironclad. The United States will stand with the people of Israel and will support their defense against these threats from Iran. What is very also important for that everybody uh, takes in, in mind here is this, that I'm going to go ahead and show everyone. The United States actually is engaging in shooting down some of these drones over either Iraqi or Syrian or Jordanian airspace. Here is the key message. This is from a U.S. defense official. In accordance with our ironclad commitment to Israel's security, U.S. forces in the region continue to shoot down Iranian launch drones targeting Israel. Our forces remain postured to provide additional defensive support and to protect U.S. forces operating in the region. So there you have it. The United States is now officially engaged on Israel's behalf, shooting down these drones. Not the first time remember that we fired against Houthi ballistic missiles, which were headed towards Israel, but extraordinary nonetheless, because the U.S. has now officially entered this war in terms of Israel's defense. The big question is what is going to happen next? Now, what is very important for everybody to know is that this message that came out from the Iranians that actually happened after the strikes became official. So I have it here in front of me. This is from the permanent mission of Iran to the United Nations. Here's what they say. Iran's military action was in response to the Zionist regime's aggression against our diplomatic premises in Damascus. This matter can now deemed concluded. Let's spend some time on that. That's very important. The matter can now be deemed concluded. However, should the Israeli regime make another mistake, Iran's response will be considerably more severe. It is a conflict between Iran and the rogue Israeli regime from which the U.S. must stay away. So let's pay very close attention to that. The Iranians are saying this is our response to you bombing our embassy in Damascus where an IRGC commander was killed. They're making clear, America, stay out of this. Now already that line has been crossed. But what they're saying is, if we end it here, then that's it. But we are now receiving news that is actually coming out of Israel. Keep in mind that it is the middle of the night over here. But I'm sharing here a senior Israeli official. This is from Israeli media. They are saying from a senior Israeli official, pledging an unprecedented response to Iran's attack and urges Israelis not to go to bed due to what is coming Iran's way. So this is a very, very dangerous moment for the world, everybody. I mean... Uh, just to do a little bit of analysis here, the Iranian response clearly was calibrated to give a ton of heads up to the U.S. and to uh, to Israel. It took hours for those drones to fly. They could have used cruise missiles, ballistic missiles, and much more destructive technology. This is a show of force on their behalf, but also it was calibrated, as they put in their message. And it was one where they knew that the vast majority of the drones would be intercepted by their air defense systems. This wasn't really calibrated uh, to be like a major and a stunning attack. They had a ton of heads up. The question now, right, does it end here? Or now are we on the escalation ladder? The United States military is now involved in this. We are shooting down drones on Israel's behalf. The Israeli military now, are they going to engage militarily directly against Iran? This is, would be 
unprecedented in terms of what is happening. And I deeply fear that this is the exact nightmare scenario uh, that could that we've all been waiting for since October 7th. You know, it's been exactly almost six months now since the conflict. But really what we all saw when Israel struck that embassy in Damascus is that entered a new kind of phase of the conflict and it entered a big decision matrix that we talked about with Dr. Trita Parsi on the show. And I, I know that Crystal and Emily talked about this as well. What is Iran's response going to be? Nobody knew. And now we do know. And now the question is, is how is the West going to respond to this? How is the U.S. going to respond to this? How is Israel going to respond to this? If Israel responds with overwhelming force and they directly strike targets in Iran, Tehran, for example, well, it, it is almost certain now at this point that the United States would be involved in this, given the fact that we literally shot down some of these drones and the military is now engaged here. The big question, and this is where my heart goes out to every U.S. service member, family, and serving uh, in the Middle East right now, is that we have tens of thousands thousands of service members who are all across the Middle East, Iraq, Syria, Jordan, as we all found out when three of our service members were killed, Bahrain, we have the U.S. Navy, the Fifth Fleet, warships have been flooding into the Persian Gulf, apparently, over the last 24 to 48 hours. What's even more extraordinary is that the U.S. military central command commander was on the ground in Israel when the news broke that the Iranian drones were coming. Apparently, the general has departed, but just to give you an idea of how deep involved the U.S. military is here in the response. There's also some major questions. What is Israel going to do and are they going to tell us what they are going to do? All of the current reporting that we currently have indicates Israel did not clear its Damascus strike with the United States. But of course, uh, we respond in their defense. Anyways, are they going to clear and coordinate whatever the hell their response is going to be with us? And will we as citizens, Americans, are we going to bear the responsibility to defend Israel? Uh, this could very well be the beginning um, of a new Middle Eastern conflict, would be the third uh, extraordinary, actually the fourth, if you count Syria, extraordinarily of my lifetime. And I am only 31 years old. So it's a very sobering night here in Washington. The phones are definitely ringing across the hook, all across the entire world. Uh, there's been, you know, major sign Sirens and alerts going on in Jordan, in Iraq, and in Syria, all the inklings of a full-blown diplomatic crisis. We're going to stay on the story, everybody, and we'll monitor everything that uh, continues to come out. And uh, should anything break overnight, we'll give everybody an update on Sunday. And of course, we'll have a show for everybody on Monday as well. So again, I'll just close with uh, thoughts for all of our service members who are in the Middle East right now, perhaps even engaged in the fight, you know, as we speak, because uh, this is one where the last time that we were there a lot of people lost their lives and this is one that i really hoped that we would never uh ever see again but our leaders seem very intent bipartisan consensus already so far lots of u.s military uh, u.s senators already calling for direct engagement with iran so the ground is set if they want it to be and this very well could be the match that struck it all we'll see you guys later